All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back. So let's look at our front end right now, and our CMS is looking pretty darn pretty. So what I want to do is I want to click on any one of our menu items in our information table, and from here on our edit underscore info page, remember how we set up our pages to go underneath this information right here. So let me double check, look at our edit underscore information pages. I'm going to scroll down, and... Okay, correct. Okay, so here's our get, in, get underscore pages for info. You guys should have all of this code. New page, add a new page to this information. This link right here should correlate to this link right here. So let's go ahead and click on it. And uh-oh, parse error, syntax error, unexpected new page .php online 86. Okay, so let's look at our new page file. I got it right here. Let me look at this from the top. Start from the top. Require once. Everything looks good. Form functions dot php. Make sure your dot php is right there. Let me look at our query. Insert into pages. Menu position. Visible content. Okay, that looks sound. If result. Okay, that's correct. Message the new okay. Okay, it might be right here in our if else statement because what if it does collect an error? Remember our count variable? So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and give it another else. Let's go. Okay, so we'll say if count it does catch an error, because right now we just have an if else statement. If it works, the page was created successfully. If not, it spits the error back. But what if it does catch an error? Sorry, I, was, I guess I was being lazy when I put this code together. Um, no, I'm sorry. Count is the PHP function. Errors is the variable. And we want to set this equal to, for, for right now, we'll just do one. I could write some more code later for if we catch more than one error. But um, you shouldn't really catch more than one error clicking on add page. And let's I'll give it a string variable. There was I don't know, at least one. Well that wouldn't make sense. There is one error in the form. Period. Close out right here and if there's multiple errors I'm not quite sure why I didn't do this before I don't know if this is gonna fix the error but I think it might help out and we'll go to nope sorry about that message there were leave a space count I'll just steal this we don't need that now and we'll concatenate the rest of our string errors in the form okay so now our if else statement has all the possibilities if there is an error when we click on that link and let me look at this. Am I missing any closing tags? I'm going to pause the video. I'm back. And there is one more closing tag right down here. And right here, I'll just make a quick PHP comment. End of form processing. This would have been a hard error to catch. I don't think this will work, but we never know. Let's go back from the top. Localhost. VP. Contents. Nope, sorry about that. This is Village Park. Add a new page to information. Uh oh. Okay, so unexpected else on line 48. So, all right, guys, I figured it out. We had a short, a shortage of closing braces. So. You could either, uh-oh, what did I do? 
You can either put it at the end right here, if you want to drop down a line, stick it right there, it makes no difference. I'll just put it right here. I'll bump this over. And I'm going to highlight what you guys have to have. So from here, make sure your code is exactly as mine. And I'll take out this comment to uh, make it less confusing. Okay, so from here to here, pause the video and make sure this this code is correctly as mine, from this if statement to this closing brace. Now I'm going to save it, and I'm going to reload it. Let's go from the top. Localhost, dp, content, .php. This is Village Park. We'll start with you. Add a new page to this information. Voila, our content showed up. Because remember our page form, page form all the way at the bottom, we created this content with a rows of 20 and columns of 80, which is now populated. So our PHP is working successfully. So in the next video, we'll be able to add pages, delete pages, update pages as we want to. So good luck with this. I think this was enough for a video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.